This is a live look at Maria Carrillo High School in Santa Rosa, where students from several schools are staging a walkout. They are calling out administrators for what they say is a failure after this week's deadly stabbing at Montgomery High School. Demonstrators say the incident was just the most glaring example of a worsening problem. On Wednesday, 16-year-old Jaden Pienta died after a 15-year-old freshman stabbed him three times during a fight inside a classroom at Montgomery High, right in front of dozens of students. Another 16-year-old junior was hurt in the stabbing as well, but is recovering. A 15-year-old freshman is facing felony murder charges. Now fellow students want their voices heard. After like every school in the county got like threats about school shootings or just incidents in general, it just it, it made it made the students, including me, really worry about the future of the school, what would, what would happen. And then after we heard about the incident here, um, you know, students on social media started posting about um, a walkout tomorrow because because us us as students as a whole didn't feel didn't feel safe anymore. Some parents say they are also growing more alarmed after hearing stories from their kids about what sometimes happens at school. My daughters come home almost daily and tell me, oh my God, mom, there's a fight today. It was really bad, you know, almost on a daily basis. Parents there say there is a history of bullying within Santa Rosa City Schools that has never really been addressed. We've reached out to the administrators to see if they have a response to these allegations, and we are still waiting to hear back. And Sonoma County District Attorney Carla Rodriguez released a statement saying in part that her office will be seeking justice and providing the community with information. But there are also regulations in place that protect the privacy rights of minors. We will continue to follow the story and everything to, that develops with it. You can always find updates on our website, kpix.com, and we are always streaming on CBS News Bay Area.